Probably the two most common conditions we see in the ER is chest pain that's concerning for a heart attack and heart failure. Cardiovascular disease is one of the leading causes of death in our country. Anyone could be diagnosed with cardiovascular disease. But I think the more we can learn about it, treat it, the better. OK, great. Thanks so much. I was raised to believe that I could make a meaningful and positive impact on the people around me. I have a twin sister and she is the driving force behind so much of the love I'm able to pour out into my career. She was born with a combination of multiple birth defects. She's been through multiple cardiac surgeries and just seeing her journey and thinking that I can be a positive force for other people in the way healthcare workers were in our lives. That's what drives me. Generally, most patients that come into the hospital for cardiovascular complaint end up getting an ultrasound of the heart. The information that the ultrasound gives us really helps guide our care. The demand for ultrasounds is very high. There have been times where I've waited three or four days to get an ultrasound completed for a patient because ultrasounds have to be completed by an ultrasound technologist and then having it go a next step to a cardiologist to read it. So it does delay patients going home at times because we need that to move forward. I'm Nicholas. I am an AI architect. In 2014, my wife was a medical student, and obviously I was the uh, easy, accessible patient. I was a guinea pig of sort, and she realized that maybe I had a murmur in one of my valves. I went to see a cardiologist, had a full echo, and that's how I discovered that I had a heart condition. It definitely crossed my mind that if I could help build softwares that could make that same diagnosis a lot easier, more people would discover their condition. The reason ultrasound is difficult to develop is because you need specific credentials to become a cardiac sonographer. Also because of the stuff that's in between your heart and the probe. Bones, ribs, part of your lungs, and they tend to not let ultrasound go through. The physiology makes it difficult to acquire images. If you go for an echocardiogram, cardiologists are primarily, first and foremost, interested in knowing if your heart is squeezing appropriately. And ejection fraction is probably the most used single measurement that allows cardiologists to assess whether heart is pumping appropriately or not. The sonographer makes some measurements, and those measurements are looked at and evaluated by the cardiologist in order to return a final number. And so I decided to explore the possibility to develop an algorithm for the purpose of assessing ejection fraction faster directly from the image. And so that's what I did. That software is called Caption AI, and we integrated that algorithm onto the vScan Air pocket size ultrasound. It takes a video clip of your heart and essentially returns an ejection fraction number between zero and 100%. We fairly quickly realized that the main reason for this tool to exist is to be in the hands of nurses. This whole population, nurses, has the medical knowledge and their sheer number. So if you could 
and equip them with augmented abilities, so to speak, then it could really change things in, in the way patients are treated in general. What we're going to be talking about today is Caption AI on the vScan device. This is the first FDA-approved prescriptive guidance AI software for scanning images of the heart. The device is very easy to use. It gives directions left, right, go this way, go that way, so you know that you're capturing adequate images of the heart. At the bedside for patients, how we manage heart failure in cardiovascular patients is really dependent on that ejection fraction. Some of the most powerful moments and largest motivation boosts came when some of our team members had an experience with the technology and had a patient that was completely asymptomatic suddenly diagnosed with a life-threatening condition, then they were treated for this. And so that had a tremendous impact on my levels of motivation to keep pushing. I want to be able to do what I can to help patients feel safe, cared for, and heard. And having more information allows me to communicate that with them quicker and let patients know that we're here to help them. Yeah.